the official opening of the 2014 60th Diamond Jubilee Emancipation Celebration here in the Virgin Islands rolls out on Monday, July 28th with a torchlight procession starting at 7 p.m. from the Palm Grove Shopping Center to the Festival Village for an opening ceremony at 8 p.m. Lynnett Harrigan, PRO for the VI Festival and Fairs Committee, spoke with JTV News. It's a beautiful event, actually, um, you know, just coming up the road with a torch. And no matter of fact, someone just asked me if we we're going to turn off the lights <laughs> in Rotown, Town. Uh, but I don't think we're going to do that. But it's usually a great way to kick off the festival. Uh, you know, we, we're starting with a torchlight and we're ending with fireworks. So that in itself, I think, is, is going to make it great for the 60th. When you look at the, the level of entertainment that's going to be here, you're looking at Jack Cure, you're looking at Baron, you're looking at Marshall and, you know, and Tessan Chen, who has been really making her way through the Caribbean. And I just, you know, I heard, you know, she was in St. Kitts and her performance was like off the chain. So we're looking forward, you know, for her to, you know, to, to really bring it here. And of course, Destra, you know, she's going to mash up the stage on Monday night, <laughs> you know. So I, I think... Um, all the promoters of you know who helped put this lineup together really did a fantastic job. Um, the committee is, is a small committee, but we've been working so hard to make sure that you know the festival is great, and we do want people to come out and support it, especially the boot owners because you know they do so much, and it's all festival. It's, it's you know we have something for everybody. And, you know, even though you, you, even if you're not born in the Bivia, you reside in the Bivia, it's your festival as well. So, you know, we want everybody to come out and, you know, really have a fantastic 60th. The Soka Monarch competition takes place on Friday, July 25th at the Iris Freeman Festival starting at 8 p.m. There will be 16 competitors, 8 in the Goofy section and 8 in the Power section. The winner of the Soka Monarch will perform on August 2nd on the International Soka Explosion along with local Calypso Monarch, the Choctaws, Karimi, Pursa, the Razor Blades, Glamour Girl, Mr. Chucky, Skinny Fabulous, and Vibe. The Calypso show, I think that is something I, I want presidents and, you know, not to miss. Yeah, what, what's so special about it this year? I think, you know, they're bringing back a lot of commentary like, you know, you haven't seen before, and which, which is a great thing. In fact, that's what Calypso is about. You know, so that is what you really need, you know, to come out and see and support. We also have Lord Strawn. Um, who, you know, is a legend, um, you know, Calypso King here in the BVI. We also have um, Lan Crab, who participated one year, and he has been coming to the BVI for the last 35 years, um, every, you know, for every festival. So he's also a guest star on the show as well. The annual food fair will be on Friday, August 1st at the Noah Lloyd Park, where 13 vendors will be selling delicious lunch as well as pastries and local drinks. There will be music by razor blades, dancing, storytelling and other performances. Be there for the opening ceremony which begins at noon. And Lynette Harrigan told JTV News that the grand colorful August Monday parade with over 60 entries this year is expected to start on time. We have over 60 entries in the parade this year, which is great because it's the 60th anniversary. But one of the things we're we really striving to do is to start on time and not because to say, okay, well, you know, we, we, we are considering the people that come out from early, people that come from other places just to see the parade, Virgin Gorda, the USVI. So they come out and they stand on the road for hours and hours. So we want the, want the participation of the parade to understand that to work with us to say, you know, don't wait until 12 o'clock. We want to start the parade at 11. So if you can be down there at 10 o'clock, we can start the parade and get things moving, get up in the village, because the night festival village night, we also have a pack entertainment there as well. So you have time to go home, change, and come back in the village to also enjoy the festivities there. So, you know, this will be a really encouraging troop owners to really tell their, their participants, come down do not even though you might you might be far down in the parade if you don't come it still mean that you you know you're making a gap within the parade and we want it to flow and you know the sun hot so we don't want to keep all you know our spectators waiting we also have to think about our citizens that come out to watch the parade so those are things that we're really taking into consideration what about the, the area for judging i know that has been an issue for, issue for some people um but yes um this year is not at the um, waterfront it's um it's up a little further close to um opposite the 
taxi stand we're close opposite me and more in that wider space okay. that's where it is this year and we have one judging area so after that they continue right up to festival village as anticipation builds for the start of this year's festivities 25 food vendors are busy putting the final touches on their booths at the irish freeman festival Additionally, 13 vendors will display toys for the kids and other items, and there will be a Coney Island in place with many fun rides for the entire family. The water sports event also promises to be packed with fun. Tuesday's Rise and Shine at the Queen Elizabeth Park will feature catching a grease pig and grease pole, both vertical and horizontal, swimming, diving, kayaking, hot dog eating contest, water bikes, paddle boats, entertainment by heritage dancers, a plaque pole and sky dancers.